Having a capable main weapon system, defense equipment, is a matter of pride for the military in a country. The more sophisticated the defense equipment, the more powerful the country's military is. Indonesia itself has several defense equipment which are considered to have a fairly great banging power and are not underestimated by other countries. Through these defense equipment, the TNI has the duty to protect and secure the sovereignty of the state from the enemy. One of them is a tank. The fighting conditions of World War I on the Western Front led the British Army to think about developing a vehicle that could cross trenches, destroy barbed wire, and was impervious to machine gun fire. The prototype of the tank was first tested by the British military on September 6, 1915. The tank was first used in war when Captain H. W. Mortimer carried a Mark the first tank in the Battle of the Somme on September 15, 1916. The French developed the Schneider CA-1 tank which was made from a Holt Caterpillar tractor, and was first used on April 16, 1917. Massive use of tanks in combat occurred at the Battle of Cambrai on the 21st of November 1917. Here are two tanks made in Italy and Russia owned by the Indonesian military, see the vision until it runs out. One tank Amphibi Aeroskater. This tank belongs to the Indonesian Army unit which is useful for transporting amphibious troops. Aeroskater is a modification offered by an Italian company called Aeris. Applicazioni Riella Boraccioni Impianti Speciali. The basic idea is the modification and improvement of the M113 in the buoyancy and propulsion sectors so that the M113 can transform into an amphibious landing vehicle. To achieve this, there are a number of modification kits prepared, namely an additional muzzle on the M113 in the form of a ship's bow containing cork and a special lightweight rubber. Thus, it can increase buoyancy, plus splitter panels that can be stretched while wading through the water. A similar additional panel affixed to the rear of the vehicle which also houses the water jet system. Similar buoyancy boxes can be found on the left and right of the aeroskater. Reporting from TNIAD.mil.id, the exhaust is extended by using a snorkel on the right side of the roof. The grill for the engine air inlet is also given a cover that is higher than the vehicle so that water does not enter when navigating the surface of rivers and seas. Aeroskater only provides a dome and mount system with splash walls, plus a mount for the M2HB machine gun or 40-40mm MK19 Mod Zero grenade launcher. The Aeroskater can carry 8 people at a water cruising speed of 6.2 km per hour. It has a length of 7.2 meters and a width of 2,9 meters. For use on land, the aeroskater can be driven up to 60 km h and cover a distance of 500 km. The Indonesian Army has acquired the M113 aeroskater to complement the mechanized infantry unit. 2 Tank BMP-3F This tank is the result of cooperation between Indonesia and Russia. Type of IFB, Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which is devoted to the Marine Corps of the Indonesian Navy. This type of tank has a ballistic computerization with a digital system. Initially this tank was equipped with an AK-47 type rifle. However, in Indonesia it has been adapted to the Pindad SS-1 type assault rifle. Everything was changed to suit the conditions in Indonesia. The shield tomback, anti-surge vein, has a thickness of 10 mm and the heating system is adapted to the Indonesian climate. The BMP-3F is capable of operating at sea for 7 hours, equipped with a snorkel to support its amphibians. The side of the cannon, equipped with a caliber of 100 mm, where the cannon is designed to fire shells slash non-control rockets. The cannon can shoot 250 meters per second. There is also a rocket launcher with a caliber of 7.62 millimeters. The BMP-3F tank has a weight of 18.7 tons, a length of 8 meters, a width of 3.5 meters and a height of 2.5 meters. 
The capacity is a crew of three with seven personnel.